Good morning dear students today we will begin our english grammar class with new chapter chapter number 13 story writing dear students as you know from your childhood you are listening many type of stories like moral stories many comics and many other type of stories listen by you from your childhood only many times your grandfather grandmother also told you story and many stories you like that too much because of the interesting character because of the interesting events in that type of a story so we can say that if you if you are also writing a story then how can you make that type of a story more interesting more powerful because of any content now we will discuss about that thing how can you also write a interesting story by yourself dear students the feature of a good story are we can say that four features are here a good thing second one is a plot third one is setting and fourth one is the main character dear students at first if we will talk about the good thing then at first you have to select a good thing for writing your story if you are writing a story about anything any incident or something like that like moral story or any comic or something like that then you have to select a good thing for that thing then that message will help you to weave a good story second one is a plot means selection of a good sequence of events one after another which type of events will going to be happen that type of incident that type of event you have to pre plan for that thing because of that your uh, story may be more interesting third one is setting means selection of perfect setting for the place of action mean when the character is acting with another character that thing also you have to mention at the first only you have to decide at the first only because of that you can write a perfect story last one is the main character dear students whenever you listen any type of a story then you know that in any story a main character is being there like a fox and crow two friends and bear greedy dog a farmer and his four sons many another type of story also listen by you and if we talk about one way inside of that's a, a movie if we talk about a movie movie is also a part of the story only because of that's that a visual part and we have to be converted into video because of that's that more interesting and we know that one movie is uh, based on an actor and main character is one actor is only there and because of that that story completely composed on that type of actor and that type of imagination and that type of story is also converted in a visual form because of that that's a too much interesting for that thing if you are also writing that type of a story then you have to mention that type of thing by yourself only when you have to use which type of language when you have to use which type of incident after one event which event will be come that type of thing also you have to mention in your story only because of that your story may be known as a good story dear stu students it's about uh, how to write a good story how to select a good story if you are writing any story then which which things you have to mention that thing as here like a good thing you have to select a plot means events you have to set setting means which type of event is coming after another one and the main character means story is based on which type of character that's also you have to mention that's about the feature of a good story second point is here story can be written in three ways dear students as you know that from fourth class you are writing a story and that's may be in a three ways only we can say that first one is developed from the given outlines many times teacher wrote outlines and you have to write that complete story because of the help of the outlines you have to read the outlines and after that you have to fill that sentence because of your creativity of your mind according to you have you have to write the lines and you have to finish the story that type of thing also you watch already second one is it can be based on a moral you listen many type of moral story also like uh, two friend and bear because of the friendship that type of story fox and crow hare and tortoise many type of moral stories are also there that's uh, dependent or men's channel into a direction to arrive a moral to some of the content it can be have a moral or a story is uh, illustrated because of that that story may be more powerful and your message or moral may be directly intended to the students only last one the story can be developed on incomplete hints also means because of your imagination if you are making any type of a story that's a, is the third part of the story only 
means many times you are sitting in classroom also and you are thinking about many things and you are start to compose that type of story also that is known as imagination story and third one is the steps to develop a story from outlines means if in exam outlines came and you have to write a story then how can you write the story that thing first read the outlines carefully means you have to read the outlines twice or thrice not once twice or thrice you have to read the outline about which type of incident that type of outline is saying you have to mention that thing follow the sequence of events given in the outline without missing any point means after that you have to watch the events after one event which event is coming that's also thing you have to mention and you didn't missing any type of event from that outline you have to put connected with the events next one connect the event in a clear and meaningful manner means your meaning is maybe very clearly understood by a reader third one add dialogue between the character wherever necessary means if two persons are talking in that type of a story then you have to add or put dialogue also because of that it may be more interesting more powerful and more creative use simple language to make the story intelligible means whenever you are writing a story you have to use simple sentence only don't use compound or complex sentences in a story if you are using compound or complex sentences your story may be more critical so you have to simple sentences only write in that type of stories and simple language also because of that reader may be understand clearly and easily use simple past tense dear students if you are writing any story then you have to mostly use simple past tense only because of that most of the story may be written in simple past tense only and supply a suitable short title for it if you are writing a story then at first you have to decide about the title also because title make a main place for that type of story because of title that story may be more interesting and more creative and because of that people start to read that type of because of that we know that according to movie name we are going because any movie name is there at first we are talking about that movie's name which movie is coming to release which movie will be taken up by the cinema halls that type of content is more interesting because of that so we don't know about that story which type of story is that in movie only trailer we know that trailer means that's outlines only in story outline in movie that's trailer in movie that's the name in story that's the title that's the same thing only so you have to mention that type of thing two stories are also given here first one is reward from goodness second one is a bond of friendship dear students from reward from goodness one story is given uh, for the old man's life means a old man and his wife lives uh, happily with both of them men with their children but after a sometimes an incident is happened and his wife is pass away and he is alone now on that time and he start to sell some type of things and after that easily uh, he can earn something for uh, look after his uh, daughter sons and daughters and after that on that time whenever he come to home then bread of love he taken by his uh, uh his himself and after that he distribute that the bread of loss with uh, between or uh, among their children and they start to eat and after that at last the smallest son at and that's the man important thing because of that he always at at the last once a day when a small child is take his food on that time when he cut his bread he find a gold coin after that he suddenly directly went to his father that old man had told to him i found that type of gold coin from that bread only then that old man told him because of your patience because of your non greedness you got that and it is your reward for your goodness and it's given by me to you because of that your life may be more easy dear students it's about the rewardness of the reward for the goodness in this chapter at the page number 108 think and answer three stories are given make a readable story out of outlines given below 
Dear students, first one is about the saint visiting village and religious discussion, something like that. Second one is about mother and uh, mother has two daughters, one proud of her duty and hardy and rude and the simple compassion. And third one is about a man visits temple every day, something like that. Dear students, you have to write story number one and story number three. Story number one and story number three from your textbook. You have to write in your notebook only. Because of the helping with the outlines, you have to write the complete story according to your mind. First one and third one you have to write in your notebook. Dear students, I hope you will understand that type of this chapter. And if you have any type of problem, then you can ask me through Google Meet class. It's about the story writing, how to write a story. I think that uh, it may be very useful to you whenever you are writing a simple story, something like that. If you are start to write any type of writing, then also it may be useful for you. Because of that, you have to mention four points for the writing, any type of story. Good thing, plot, setting and main characters. Thank you students.